We're back at the On the Spotlight with uh, Earl Morgan. I'm your, Earl Morgan, your host, and my co-host, the lovely Miss Tina Bland. We're here tonight with uh, a, a bevy of uh, interesting people who have some stuff to say. We have fun here. We laugh, we joke, and we also get serious. And I have Eric Anders Nilsson as an N-I-L-L-S-O-N, right? You're close. And I have L S S O N. S S O N. Uh you know, I, I have a saying folks that Jersey City is a city that uh, taking my cue from the play Six Degrees of Separation. Yes. I say that in Jersey City we have two degrees of separation. I think I'm gonna to have to revise that to one degree. When Mr. Nelson walked in here tonight, of all things, he and my uh, my my producer embraced and they my producers from Brooklyn, and they seem to know each other very well. I found out they were old friends. Uh, and in Jersey City, that's how things seem to work. But Mr. Nilsson is here for his, from his organization, um, and he's going to be talking to us about stopping wars and about the homeless. Now, I believe that you and the gentleman we just had on will get together for I think you have a lot in common, uh, and you should know each other. Um, but yes, uh, tell us about this affair that you're having, Stop the Wars, because we sure have a lot of wars. Uh, Stop the Wars at Home and Abroad, um, could we yes. hold that up so that our, our audience can see that? Uh, we have a live audience here at the, at the uh, right yeah. side. And we want you to know that you can come down when we're taping to uh, to be a part of our audience. We, we welcome anyone who wants to be here. But tell us a little bit, uh, Eric, about this uh, Stop the Wars at Home. And sure. Well, first, thank you so much for allowing me to be here. And, uh, this is a, a wonderful show. And uh, thanks to uh, the producers here, who I've known for 12 years in Jersey City. Um, my organization is called Jersey City Peace Movement. We've been together since late 2003, early 2004. And we've met every single Sunday, every month since then, uh, over 11 years now, um, in General Square. And uh, our purpose is, is twofold. Uh, we call to stop all the wars, bring all the troops home. Uh, we say that we care so much about the troops, we don't want them to go to war in the first place. We want them here, uh, back, safe. And we also noticed when we were in General Square uh, giving out uh, leaflets, and it's every Sunday, from, uh, every last Sunday from two, uh, 12 to 2, at General Square. Um, we noticed there was a lot of homeless uh, people in General Square, and slowly we became friends with them over the course of the first year. And then we started bringing clothing and food, and ever since then, uh, we've had so many organizations that we partner with. Uh, there's a, a Muslim group here in Jersey City called Building Blocks, and uh, other Asian Merchants Associations, and uh, partners with, with uh, civics for emerging activists and other organizations, and we've just given out you know, tens of thousands of dollars worth of, and I hate to put things in the context of money. Um, you know, food and clothing, both food and food used, everything's clean. And we try to keep the food vegetarian. Um, yeah, well, that's good. healthy. Yeah. We're not about just giving bologna sandwich and soda. Yeah. We want to give very healthy things for our homeless friends. In addition to giving them friendship and uh, social uh, service information, we, we brought people to social services that they didn't even know they uh, could apply for, and, and even though they were just, uh, you know, a few blocks away. That's the thing that's missing, is the liaison between the homeless person on the street and the social service sometimes, because many of them are mentally incapacitated, and they can't really fend for themselves. You know, they, they can't work. Um, so, um, you know, we're never going to end the, the um, you know, homeless situation, but we can help alleviate it. Um, hopefully, I would like to end world wars. Uh, it's a difficult, it's a difficult thing. Um, yes. But we, we are happy. We're part of a group, our Jersey City Peace Movement. is part of a, an umbrella organization called UNAP, uh, United National Anti-War Coalition. And this May, uh, we're having a three-day conference. Uh, usually, it's in New York, but we're doing it in, Jer in New Jersey, in Sea Caucus, at the Clarion Empire Hotel, um, eight. 9th and 10th, three-day conference. Of May? Of May, of this May, yes. And um, it's very, very cost-effective. It's, I believe, $25 if people want to come. And we're, we're, our efforts are that we want anybody who wants to come to be able to come. So we'll make it 
possible for people who are financially uh, unstable that they will be able to go. Uh, we're organizing vans, jitneys, buses. Um, I believe the number two bus from Jones Square goes there. But everybody's invited, and we have some really powerful people that will be speaking, there, including Cynthia McKinney, oh, who yes. ran for president, uh, African American female ran for president. She's a congress former congresswoman from Georgia. Chris Hedges, writer like yourself, you know, you know read all his books. <laughs> Gifted writer. Um, yes. Um, Ray McGovern and uh, so many other organizations, Pam Africa, and uh, there'll, there'll be some very serious but some very edgy discussions, there'll be workshops and people can network uh, to see what we can do in a positive, peaceful, and constructive way to redirect the funds that are going to these endless wars and occupations abroad and help the people and the organizations like the gentleman who was here before me, um, you know, help the homeless even more, these trillions of dollars going to these endless wars, you know, for, for what really? You know, going into Iraq and then they say, oops, we had the wrong information. You know, how, how, do you, how do you want to kill so many people? So, $3 trillion dollars later. Exactly. So we, we can use that here. Imagine the schools that could be built, the parks and the restoration of the bridges and such. Um, so well, let me ask you this. It sounds like you guys are really, really pushing uphill because there are so many wars. I mean, you know, there are wars we don't, there are so many, it's hard to remember them all. They've got them going on in the Sudan. Uh, you have this whole thing going on in the so-called Middle East with so many Al Qaeda and whatever, because there are now so many groups that can't keep track of them. How do you? What do you do about it? How do you? How do you guys see that sort of the situation being brought to heel? That's a great question, and I don't have the complete answer. What I do know works is what at least the president is trying to do, and that is to talk to people to stop future wars. And I believe in uh, diplomacy first and foremost. We should meet with, with uh, people that we do have issues with and, and talk things out instead of just brutally bombing them um, you know, into submission for whatever reason. Um, you know, of course, if, if we are attacked physically, Yes, you have to defend yourself and, and fight back, uh, but we have to make very, you know, careful decisions that we are, you know, uh, attacking the right people. But anyway, we want those funds brought back home from us. It's our tax money and uh, our, for our social services. And our, our if you can use them for roads, bridges, and all those people. The infrastructure. Yeah. The infrastructure. Absolutely. Right. All right, I believe we're coming up on a break. Is that? And let's also remember, America never leaves. Do you realize that? We stay in every country that we've ever gone to for an aggressive, we stay there. We are every place. So every war that we take on, this is another place that we will be. You know, to, Tina, to, to, to amplify that, <laughs> during the Second World War, or during the, the Cold War, uh, in, the, in the competition with Soviet Union, uh, the United States set up NATO. There is no Soviet Union. But they have bases in France, Germany, Italy. The Soviet Union is gone. Half the Iron Curtain countries, so forth, are now in NATO. But we're still tr spending trillions of dollars to maintain troops in all these countries I, I uh, and, and bases in all these countries that are very, very expensive. Well, let's also remember that I was a child well, no, obviously before I was born, uh, <laughs> when there was this uh, statement that some of us know is a concept, the Bay of Pigs, which now is so relevant in the news because President Obama is now talking to President Castro. How long is your enemy your enemy? How many presidents have gone on, dead and gone, and alive, That's and true. we are still angry with Cuba. Tiny Cuba, right? And, and, and for what? And for what? When, when China has received the most favored nation, exactly. trading partner, when we're best buddies with Saudi yes, Arabia, and we're best buddies with Saudi Arabia. So you're right, but these issues are very important, and there are over, I believe, 150 plus bases around the world. You know, bring those around troops. Around the world. Can you imagine? Like, I wonder, I always ask people, do you want 
I'm just going to use this country because it's on people's minds, but would you want an Iranian base here? Would you want a Chinese base, you know, in your backyard? No. But we feel that we can go anywhere and do anything we want. So, you know, it's a difficult situation. You know, no, we, we don't want to support terrorism. We do want to... to yeah, but you can't, so you can't, you know, they're talking now about the, the, some of the Republicans running for office are talking about building the Navy up and, you know, building a new fighter plane. But well, they always talk about no it. You can't be no kind of You can't. Well, look, we, have, we spend most money globally, you know, more than any other nation, and we were still attacked. On 9/11, so you know we have to we have to reach out and build bridges, just like with the gentleman before me and, and the gentleman who, reads, who, who wrote the, the, the book earlier. In our group, Jersey City Peace Movement, we have to build these bridges, like we're doing with your show, and that's what you know true leadership does. True leadership does with uh, you know peace and justice organizations. We but, reach out. You know we keep talking about true leadership. Let's remember that this government is made up of we the people. So if you don't sure. like the way things are going, you vote differently. Yes. And I say that as a Superior Court mediator. If we want people to sit down and talk, then that's how you vote. You vote because you want to hear more about how do we negotiate. As opposed to bomb, 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 bomb Iran. Right. <laughs> <laughs> joke, a sick joke by John McCain. By John McCain. Who I respect, <laughs> but who I, I, I was way You're a much better person, person than I am. I, I, I lost so much respect for him. You know, I, you know, as a, as a human being, but when you're in that position of power, how can you joke like that? Imagine when you're on the receiving end of that joke. Imagine the people in, in Iran thinking, oh my God. You know, well, you know what's a good example of that? Now the, the president is, is negotiating with Iran to keep them from getting a nuclear weapon. And now the complaint is that the Iranian officials are going home saying they got a good deal. And I'm wondering, well, what should they go home and say, you know, we really got a lousy deal. <laughs> I can't figure how you come to those kinds of things. I thought the idea was to get a deal that both sides can, can, can live with and can agree. Absolutely. That's the purpose of the They seem to want the United States to come away with slamming down, with really crushing the Iranians. And the Iranians saying, yes, we're crushed to this. <laughs> And this it is, just doesn't make sense. It's also about nuclear power, which again, I do not support it nuclear is. power. But if America has it, yes. if, if uh, Israel has it, if France has it, if Britain has it, China has it, China has it, Russia has it, Russia has it, Russia has it. <laughs> why aren't the Iranian people allowed to? Well, and the other thing that's true about the whole issue that I would think is strange, um, the one thing about having a nuclear weapon is Never what again. happens is you get it never. mutually assured destruction. Yeah. I've got it, you got it. <laughs> yeah. The one of us about it. All right, we're up on a break. We have to go thank you so much. to our next guest. Thanks. But thank you very much for being here. And we hope to see you back again. Well, and don't uh, after this is over, you'll come back and give us Friday, Absolutely. May 8th through Sunday, May 10th. Yes. Yeah. In Seacoffs. In Seacoffs. At the name of the place again? Uh, it's the Clarion. Empire in the Meadowlands. In the Meadowlands. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for being here. Right.